Hi there, my name is Lucretia. I'm a part-time robotics facilitator. I've had the opportunity to present robotics workshops across South Africa. I'm going to talk about the concept of adapted inclusive educational robotic workshops for children with disabilities and the associated benefits. Then I will briefly cover how current robotics workshops look like. I will also show you some of the global trends of inclusive robotics education. Lastly, I will cover inclusive robotics workshop adaptation and how they can be implemented within classrooms on a permanent basis by anyone willing. For my oral assessment, I have identified the following action that needs to be changed in order to encourage participation and inclusion for learners with disabilities. There's limited inclusivity in robotics workshop environments and lesson plans. Since I started teaching Mindstorms Robotics, I've only come across one disabled learner, and he seemed to be right at home in the workshop, engaging and fully immersing himself with the lesson plan and with his classmates and friends. However, I now see that we could have done so much more to maximize his participation during the session. The biggest issue with our workshops is that they are not accessible for learners with disabilities. We often hold workshops in mainstream schools and science expos. The venues are so crowded and loud with lots of distractions. Our lesson plans are fast paced our visuals are usually not well lit. They are not visible enough to accommodate anyone with visual impairments. To give you a background on the reason why our workshops need to be adapted, I'll briefly talk about inclusive education in South Africa. Inclusive education in South Africa is still a challenge. Even though we have policies in various organizations that are working tirelessly to ensure that children with disabilities receive high quality and inclusive equal education. Let's briefly talk about some of the policies available in South Africa and how they relate to our robotics workshops. The Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities published Article 24. It says that every child has the right to education. It further states that inclusive education is a fundamental human right for every child with a disability. It emphasizes on the need for disabled children to access quality inclusive education in schools within their communities. Ensuring every community has robotics workshops for disabled learners is in accordance with this requirement. Disabled learners have a right to attend robotics workshops in their current schools. The Education White Paper 6, the primary South African policy document on inclusive Education 2001 it encourages the development of full service schools which are well resourced and equipped to assist children with barriers to learning within the mainstream school system. Designing robotics workshops that bring children with disabilities together with children without disabilities should be prioritized. This will also help in creating more inclusive communities and reducing stigmatization. Making changes in accordance with the Education White Paper 6 should include the following. We need to acknowledge that all children and youth can learn to build robots and learn to program them. We need to acknowledge that all children and youth will need support during robotics workshops. We need to acknowledge and respect the differences in learners and built on their similarities. We need to acknowledge that learning is more than just formal schooling. Learning also happens during robotics workshops. We need to ensure that attitudes, behaviors, teaching methods, curriculum, and learning environments meet the needs of all learners during workshops. We need to minimize all sorts of barriers. Robotics is an essential fourth industrial revolution skill. In industry, robotics are replacing human jobs. We have robots that are replacing hotel staff, chefs, builders, bricklayers, factory workers, seamstresses, and even pharmacists. It is clear that learners need to have some degree of knowledge on coding and working with robotics. Current barriers 
in our workshops need to be addressed and an adapted curriculum needs to be implemented to maximize learning and participation by encouraging group work, patience and mutual respect within the classroom. South Africa is starting to embrace robotics education by implementing robotics and coding as a new school subject. Hopefully, adapted inclusive robotics will also be prioritized. There are organizations that have successfully implemented robotics education for disabled children. We can collaborate with these organizations for guidance and inspiration. South African children with disabilities can actually be motivated to perform better when they see other disabled children around the world excelling in robotics. Now, how do current robotics workshops look like? Robotics workshops are currently held in mainstream schools, in science centers or in science expos. These venues are often not wheelchair accessible and they get really loud and crowded, sometimes not having enough chairs and children end up standing during the whole session. Workshop sessions are usually one hour to three hours long. Depending on the school, some workshops can run for one day to three days, or they can be on an ongoing basis where we give weekly sessions. We use the following equipment as part of our lesson delivery or representation. We have Mindstorms robotics kits, laptops, overhead projectors, worksheet printouts, building and coding instruction printouts, Mindstorms maths and challenge props such as cups or balls or anything pertaining to the challenge. Our lesson plan is delivered using videos, verbal instructions, instructional text, physical demonstrations, step-by-step -step instructions and PowerPoint presentations. Our lesson objectives include building a basic robot, programming it to move forward, backwards, or to turn, attaching passive attachment to push or pull an object, attaching and programming sensors that work as the robot's eyes or ears, or touch sensors, light sensors, power attachments, building and programming those. I will now show you a video of our typical robotics workshop. I got the tire and this is the tire. Um, we use it to make the object move, for instance, cars, uh, robots. Without this, um, it cannot move. This is what we use to make a robot move. You're going to move forward, and then turn, make your robot turn, and then turn. Move. Back to your eyes. Are you NXT? Yes. And are you on on this screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No. Where are you? Did you press something? No. <laughs> The following videos will showcase a few organizations that are currently successfully providing adapted inclusive robotics lessons. Hands on day full of gizmos, wiring, and computers. These kids are gathered at the Holland Blue Review Kids Rehabilitation Hospital in the Bayview and Eglinton area to learn about robots and compete with one another. We're making a robot yeah. so we can destroy other robots. Oh, wow. For uh, kids, with, especially with disabilities, a lot of them need technology to help them with their activities of daily life. It might be a communications device, it might be a walker or a wheelchair. So it's super cool for them to actually be creating technology, not just using technology science, technology, engineering, and math. We try to get kids inspired, invigorated, have fun, and see the world of possibilities that they may have if they would go into a STEM career.
have adapted robotics. They have to build their robots. They have to practice. And so it has built a lot of good self-esteem, the ability to work together. <laughs>